Hello, I am back with some more Crash Nitro Kart, and we are at Techni. I forgot to record me going through the portal, but man, like, like, like it even matters. So, we're going to Assembly Lane. That's probably just, that's probably my least favorite place in this world. I don't really have anything against it. I just found it kind of boring a little bit. I don't know, it is pretty unique, though, because I always thought of Assembly Lane to be like a mix of Tiny Arena and Engine Labs from Crash Team Racing. So that's one thing I found that was pretty cool. My favorite place in this world would probably be Electron Avenue. <laughs> like, even though it's the longest place there, I find it, like, awesome. And the sky is green just like it's thunderstruck. A lot of pollution in the air, I assume. Places need to keep better... Need that. They need to take better care of themselves. <laughs> so anyway, I just now found out what the Team Blast thing means. It means that, <laughs> yeah, some, somebody just, I just got them seeing a comment of somebody telling me what it meant, and, and it makes a lot of sense. Apparently, like, the closer I am to my teammate, that's when it'll start, like, the team boosting will start going up and stuff, so. Yeah, I'm pretty far away from my teammate, so I can understand why it's not really going. So I found that pretty unique and stuff. That's pretty cool. Now the mystery is solved! Because <laughs> I was always... Ever since I played this game, I was always wondering what caused it to go up and... Uh, wonder how people found that out. Or maybe it just says somewhere... Oh, maybe it says in the book of the game. That would make sense. I don't really... Really, the only time I ever look in the book books of the games is to, like, see the characters and the whole... Um... And, like, what, they, what it says about the characters and stuff, because characters are always the best in the game and stuff. I always find the characters most interesting. If the game doesn't have good characters, then, I don't know, I don't really like the game. <laughs> but anyway... Oh, yeah! I don't know if I've ever... Yeah, I don't know if I've ever said that. I may have said this in, like, a past Let's Play, but if, if so, I, it was a long time ago. But I'm just gonna say it anyway. Um... Yeah, I, since I got this game before I got the Wrath of Cortex and stuff like that, well, I already said that the very first game I saw Crunch Bandicoot in was Crash of the Titans, and I was just like, who the heck is this guy? And I'm like, okay, whatever, it's all part of the game, just go with it, and stuff like that. And then I saw him here in Crash Nature Cart and stuff. And you know, I just decided to, like, look in the book and read off the characters and what it says about them and stuff. And then I, I read Crunches, and it said, like, Oh, he was originally created to destroy. He was originally created by critics to destroy Crash, and I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! That is something I never knew." Like I was just like, "Wait, what? He used to be evil? What the heck is going on? Like, how did he turn good?" And I had never knew this, and I was like so baffled, and I was like, "That's amazing!" and stuff like that. And then, yeah, so then I learned that was how what I learned about Crunch, and then. And then, I played throughout the quirks, and I'm like, oh, this makes perfect sense. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's what I get for not playing the Crash games in order, and so then a bunch of confusion hits and stuff like that. And I'm done already, and... Wow, that seemed pretty short, because, you know, once I get rambling about a certain subject, I don't really pay attention to what I'm doing and stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I'll still never forget, I was like staring at the book in disbelief for like, the, for like 10 to 15 minutes, just going like, what? What? The heck? I never do that, and stuff like that. You know me, I was upset, I mean, I still am obsessed with Crash Bandicoot games, but back then and stuff like that, I was like, every time I made a new discovery about Crash things, I'm just like, oh my god, it's amazing, and stuff, and, yep. Every and I, I still do that, like, I just found out about the Team Blast thing, and I find that's cool. Because, you know, I like learning new stuff about games that I love. <laughs> and Roy Dally. Tiny. And, oh yes, we're going to be tiny for the next boss, i got to remember that. Okay, good. Silence, that's what I like to hear. I haven't been hearing the scary loading amb ambience noise <laughs> lately, so that's good. Seriously, it's just so creepy. And I see Bilo's head on a screen up there. Mm -hmm.
does, it, is he like in control of all the planets or something? Or wait, didn't he say he was like the ruler of the galaxy? Huh. Uh, you know what? I don't really get it. He, if he's the ruler of the galaxy, wouldn't that mean he's also ruler of Earth? But, I mean, because the galaxy is full, filled with like planets and stuff, so, eh, <laughs> train! So, yeah, wouldn't that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know this stuff. <laughs> so, I don't, or are we in a different galaxy? It would make, you know, it would make sense if we were in like a different galaxy and he's in control of that galaxy, so. So we're really far away. Because, you know, the galaxy that Earth is in, it has other planets like Jupiter, Saturn, etc. And stuff like that, so. I don't know. I Maybe I'm just thinking too much on this. Work <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to use it after I take the shortcut. Shut up. I like the shortcut. It helps a lot with the boss and stuff. Shut up, tiny. <laughs> so anyway, last night was fun. I, one of my friends came over. We were having a blast. Oh my gosh, last night, we were laughing so hard at this video we were making. We were laughing so hard we were crying. I had never laughed so hard in my life. Or, either that I just had not laughed so hard in years. I was crying, I was wheezing, I couldn't even, I couldn't even laugh properly. It just came out with a bunch of squeaking noises and, <laughs> and stuff like that. It was, it was awesome. That was a good night. <laughs> then again, it was like, yeah, around midnight when we were doing stuff, so we were kind of pretty tired and loopy and, yeah, it was just the best night ever. <laughs> best night I've had in a while. Ha! Ah. Oh man. I was like, ha ha, I hit my teammate. Yep, and I'm close to my teammate, so he's just gonna keep charging, yay! As if, as if now I'm far away, so I took a short But that was fun. Yeah. I also was taking my senior pictures last night. Stuff like that, so that was pretty fun. Like, I have a huge backyard, and I'm. Like, there's woods in my backyard and stuff like that. I live out in the country, so... Got a lot of open space and stuff. It's nice. I would say it's very peaceful and quiet, but we got these neighbors with them. We got this one neighbor, or well, actually two neighbors with these noisy dogs, but it's mostly this one neighbor in particular that has this dog that... No, now, whenever my dad tries to go outside to do yard work, the dog just keeps barking and barking, and he already sent a note to those people's mailbox saying, like, calm your dog down or I'm going to call animal control and stuff like that. And then lately, it's still been bugging him. Except, I mean, recently it was bugging him, but but now lately it, it's been quieting down. So that's good. But yeah, people need to control their dogs. <laughs> uh -uh. You'd expect this problem to be more like in the country, I mean, in the city and stuff like that. Well, I don't know anything about living in the city, so I shouldn't be one to talk about that. So anyway, we got done with Android Alley. And we're gonna go to Electron Avenue. Electric Avenue. Isn't that a song or something? I, I don't know, some guy started singing it when he went to that place, and a lot of play that I watched. Yay, tiny. Well, I never thought the loading screen looked like Techni at all. It just looked, it just looks like the place I went to, Android Alley. There's a creepy loading ambience again. Go away. <laughs> Go away, Uguka. You're supposed to be gone. I mean, by the time I get to the third world in Crash Team Racing, that's when he's supposed to be gone. And I thought that would be the same way for this game, too, but it's not. We're going to be Engine at Electron Avenue. And Oxide just loves to be tortured. Because he was tortured in, like, Tiny Temple, the loading screen. He was tortured in, I think it was a Deep Sea Driving one or something. I don't know. But he just keeps getting electrocuted. And those three red-eye missiles are heading towards him. And I didn't even think it was possible to shoot three at the same time. And plus, those aren't even available in racing things. They're only avail available in the battle mode. But whatever. It's your loading screens, your concept art. Whatever. 
Yeah, hey, big jump. Yeah, it's happy. <laughs> Actually, I can't even see his mouth, so I don't even know. But whatever. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up, I did. I thought... See, that sounds like an evil baby. <laughs> Get out of the way, moldy cauliflower head. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't understand my nickname for him, I, I don't want to explain it again. I explained it in like Crash Team, both Crash Team Racing and Crash Bash. I think I bet your people are tired of the story by now, so I'm not gonna explain it again. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that I have that flash. Moldy cowboy head, get out of my personal space. Now, now, now. Oh, boom. I hit it. Right. I have no clue what you're just saying. I just heard wrong. Engine, you are so weird. <laughs> He's very eccentric. And he starts getting more eccentric as the, ga as the games progress, <laughs> I've noticed. I mean, you know, in Crash 2, in Crash 3, in Crash Team Racing, in Crash Bash, he seems, well, in the Wrath of Cortex, I guess, he seems generally normal, and stuff like that, and stuff like that, but, and then you start going into, um, well, it mainly starts, I guess, I don't know if it's, it would start, his, like, craziness starts in this game or not, he seems, he seems okay, I guess, except for his clothes in the racing thing, he scares me, but anyway, it's, it's definitely Crash Tag Team Racing when he starts to develop a, kind of a bit of a problem, <laughs> okay, not, I wouldn't say a problem, but he just starts getting messed up, kind of, I don't mean messed up in a bad way, like, oh, they destroyed this character, but I find it hilarious. <laughs> I mean, so there's not really any engine that I prefer. I mean, his normal, I mean, his normal self is, is fine. Is He's pretty cool and awesome and stuff like that. And his crazy side is just hilarious. And I, I love comedy stuff. So, yeah. It's just hilarious. Especially when he starts talking to himself like Gollum. Ay! Why? <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I was going to talk about a different character and I totally forgot. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, there's rarely any characters in which I prefer the new over the old, really. I think I, I already mentioned in Crash Bash that I actually like the newer version of Brio better than the old version. I like Brio in Mind Over Mutant the best. He is, like, so funny. He claims he invented everything and stuff like that. It's, I mean, like, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. Plus, honestly, I found us stuttering to be kind of annoying. <laughs> to be honest. And, you know, I was making fun of Brio and Crash 2 and mimicking him and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. I don't know. I just prefer him when he was... I don't know. It's just... I didn't... Now that I think about it, I don't really think his voice fit him that well. And like Crash 2, and, and his voice in Mind Over Mutant, I felt that fit him the best. And I felt he was the best in that game. That's just my opinion. I mean, I don't hate, I don't hate on like his older version or anything. Brio's a cool character. I gotta tell you, Brio is like hated in my stories. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a long story. A lot of stories I made, stuff like that, so... Again, I felt like that was really short because I was talking so much. Um, oh, there's a cutscene after this, so... I don't know what else to talk about. But yeah, yeah, I'm just doing the robot. Let's just watch this and then I'll talk. So you know, very few racers have ever won all 12 trophies. Yes, we get it. I love how they just cheer for Cortex. They don't cheer for anybody else. Look. Okay. <laughs> what is helping Cortex? That doesn't make sense. Gary. And his voice does not fit him, in my opinion. All these bosses are crazy in some way. 
Oh my gosh. Is it just me, or when you look at Velo in the background at that part, that just freaky. <laughs> yeah. So many more. Anyway, yeah, there's not really any other characters that I prefer the new over the old. Like I said before, as for Tiny, I just pretend that's not even Tiny. I pretend it's its long-lost cousin named Teeny, and everything goes well for me, and it makes perfect sense. <laughs> Maybe not perfect sense, but it makes somewhat better sense to me. It's better for me to think of it that way. I, I just have no comment on that, really. That's kind of like the moment where I go, like, what were they thinking? But other, other than everybody else, everything, everybody else is fine and stuff to me. Um, tiny. I shall not mess up there. Back to Android Alley we go. Oh, we're gonna fight the final boss, too. Are, am I gonna have time to fight the final boss in this episode? I'm starting to wonder. Hmm. Worst case scenario, I might have to cut in the middle of the boss. Ooh, cliffhanger. I don't know if I'll do a cliffhanger. Eh, I don't know, it just depends on how much time this takes. I'll probably just save the, the last boss for the next episode. So anyway, who else? I don't know. I find it a little bit sad. Or unfortunate. I don't know. Same word, kind of. Hey! They aim for you, I think. But anyway, I find it a little, a little sad slash unfortunate that they got, like, a new voice actor for Aku Aku. Not that I have any problem with the voice of Grimm from The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, because that, that is pretty cool and stuff like that. And Dr. Draken for Uku Uka. I found that actually pretty awesome. But, I don't know, I found it kind of sad, because um, the guy who did the the voice of the original Aku Aku, Mel Winkler or something like that? His voice is something like that, but... What the heck? <laughs> his, his name is something like that, but, like, he was... I think that he was, like... Everything. Every, you did everything wrong. Anyway, like, I think he was the longest voice actor to stick with, like, the Crash series and stuff like that. He voiced, I mean, Aku Aku in pretty much almost every game up to... Uh, it's, uh, it's up to Crash Tag Team Racing, and I found that pretty awesome. So it was kind of sad to see him go, but, yeah. What the heck? You came out of nowhere. You scared me. That's actually pretty, that was awesomely fitting. He's like, you can't be perfection, and he pops up right in front of me. That was awesome. That's my favorite line. I don't know what he said before that, but he, like, he just spoke all peppy or something, and then he goes like, now I must demolish you. That was kind of scary. He popped out of nowhere. I shall take the shortcut again, and hopefully get him off my butt. My chickens will always win! No. Oh, okay, he doesn't say anything before that. He's just like, now I'm all thing that I do. Well, boho frickity who. You ain't getting me today. I hope they all hit him. I don't even know if, like, he's right behind me. Hopefully he got hit by those bombs, but I really doubt that. Okay. Just don't do any more surprise attacks. That, that generally freaked me out. Hit that. Need to hit something, buddy. It reminds me back in my costume race and let's play when I was trying to hit Tiny, and I'm like, hit that! You're so big and fat, you have to hit something! I will never stop making fun of Tiny and him being fat. I mean, I know he's not fat, I just like saying that to be funny. <laughs> I mean, that was in one of my really old stories. That, I mean, I used to make like these really stupid stories or whatever where I would be with the Crash characters or whatever. And I don't know. I was like with Tiny or something and Tiny sat on his bed. And then apparently he broke the bed and I was like, No, look what you did, Tiny, you broke the bed because you're so fat. It was weird. <laughs> Yeah.
Okay, I'm gonna cut it off after the cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> I only like Cortex. <laughs> he, he's like, oh, that feels nice. I like how his foot starts tapping. You have failed me as punishment. You <laughs> lip is quivering like me. <laughs> and when you're done with now we actually get to see Velo. Not the real Velo, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you now have all four champion keys. And with these, you can now mm. challenge the most accomplished bracer in the entire galaxy. Me. Me. It's like, boy! <laughs> never lose. You know what's funny? Oxide says the same thing, yet I kicked his butt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was going to say something and I forgot. Oh, yeah. One thing that's weird is, like, he said, like, oh, you got to clean the entire podium? The entire arena or whatever and stuff like that. But I was thinking that wouldn't necessarily be punishment because other not Geary like, like the clean thing? Or, I don't know. But anyway, uh, we will fight the final boss. I mean, race the final boss in the next episode. So I'll see you then and goodbye.